What is up, everybody? We got game two here. Planetary Trio versus Space Dot. I'm joined by the one, the only, Bean Chalupa. How you doing, my guy? Bro, I'm doing amazing right now. Um, it was a little bit short notice, but I mean, I'm here, so whatever. <laughs> yes, sir. We got a great matchup here. Planetary Trio and Spaced Out. It's a Division D. Um, I guess you could say these are the the space teams. I don't know. Maybe there's a term we should use to refer to them, but both of them have space-related names. Planetary hmm. Trio and Spaced Out. Um, I'm kind of just repeating myself, but should be should be a good time here. So we're gonna jump into the stats. We got the Division D standings. Ball Chasers six and zero. Um, I believe they're one of two undefeated teams left in DCRL after Eric went one? down. Um, no. Whoa. Okay. Okay. I see. It, well, I think the other one is. Oh, who is it? I don't. I don't think there's any. Undefeated I thought there teams was anymore. another one. It's oh, and it could be Div E, maybe. But I don't think any of the top three divisions, because what was it, Div A, number one. Ball is... chasers might might actually be the last one. I I might be, just be tripping here. I, yeah, but, I think so. I mean, they're they're showing why they have such a high record. I mean, they're seventy eight point two six percent. That's insane. Two point four three goals per game. One point three five assists. Um. Very, very good games coming out from Ball Chasers. Yeah, I don't know, just looking at all of this, um, I mean, obviously the biggest one, uh, Ball Chasers. Um, and Wild Kratz and Buttery Birdies having some rough seasons a little bit. Um, but like right now, Planetary Trio is on the bottom half and Spaced Out is up there. It's still with a 60% winning percentage, so that's still pretty good. Um, and they're not that far behind from ball chasers and goals per game and in assists. So I don't know. It, it's a lot of toss up still. And even though ball chasers is on that, like that high, it seems like they're on a high pedestal. Uh, I think spaced out could also be in the contention. Oh yeah. hundred percent. We'll jump into the team stats now though, as we have planetary trio. Oh, you go over them Chalupa. I know, so Planetary Trio has got, uh, has got three people, Loniza, Dr. Pepper, Elf22, obviously. The first two, they're veterans. Uh, they played for, I, I don't remember how many seasons each one's played, but obviously Loniza is in the hype video, throw this man a parade in Fargo. Yeah. You know, Dr. Pepper, we got Beeper, and Elf22, I'm not too familiar with. Um, but with the stats, Loniza, a little bit under a goal per game, and... Um, Elf also bringing in a little over half a goal a game. So, I mean, stats wise, it's not looking amazing. Um, but obviously, it's not always about the stats. It could also be behind the scenes. Uh, eventually, they could probably be doing some replay review. I think I have seen that a little bit actually from uh, Planetary Trio. So, it's going to be interesting to see what they've got going on this series, and I'll toss it back over to you for the next team. Yeah, 100%. Teams change as the season goes on. Um, but yeah, we'll jump into Spaced Out here. They're 4-3. and three. Captain, Pat Down, and Paco, and Drewski. Um, Paco leading this team in goals. It's a little surprising to not see it from Pat Down, the captain, but Pat Down <laughs> with a respective 0.72. Um, it's not, not a bad number either. They've been scoring a bunch of goals. Um, shooting percentages, I know they were a little higher the last time I commentated on them, but um, I, 34, 43, 27, that's not bad shooting percentage either. Um, they're all getting up two shots a game, all about a save per game. Um, to be honest, everything besides for Paco's 1.66 demos per game and Paco's 1.04 <laughs> goals per game, everything else is like... <laughs> within like a standard deviation of their teammates, if you will. Mm -hmm. So um, they're all playing a pretty similar game here, uh, but it, it seemed to work out out for them. Four and three here, looking to go five and three on the season. Um, not league leading in anything, but that's not always what matters the most. Yeah. Um. Oh, it's just interesting to see these teams. Obviously, pa I, I love playing with Paco, love duo queuing with him. Uh, he's an amazing person to be around. Uh, he's the most I'm most familiar on this team. Um, and it seems like he's been putting the team like 
on his like back. He's like trying to carry this team. Like, boys, we got this. And he's got some good energy too. Um, that's what I like about him too. Like we bounce off of each other. And Drewski, obviously my teammate from last year. Um, a last semester, I guess it was last year. No, it wasn't last semester. Whatever. <laughs> um, but he he's a fun person to be around. Uh, he's from California, and he flew all the way over here from land, which is crazy to think about. Um, but he's got some family down here. Um, but this series, it, I don't know. It could go either way, but obviously it's probably leading a little bit more towards spaced out. What do you think? Yeah, I would have to say that spaced out is definitely favored here. Um, you know, having a bit of a better record, but I, I would say spaced out, take it in, we'll say four. That's my prediction last two, a 3-1 win, and I did not get it right, but uh, I think spaced out, they, they'll take it in four. Oh, man, I know I've been dissing them a little bit, but I I got to give it the underdog buff. I think Planetary Trio is going to get this in five. Um, I think Lo Loniza, same playoff soon. It's like, okay, we got to be a little bit, we, we got to step it up. Um, and I'm, I'm hoping for a game five from Planetary Trio and they're able to finish it off. Um, but we'll have to see. Yeah, game five would be huge to see here. Uh, we're always looking for exciting matches. And, you know, whenever a match goes to game five, it's about as good as it gets. So, uh, yeah, we're just waiting on, I believe, one more player to join the lobby here. And then we'll get you guys started with some some great DCRL action. Game two of four tonight. So um, if this match is not your cup of tea, stick around. I'm sure there'll be something for, for you guys. We got divs A, B, C, and D represented tonight. So plenty of variety. 100%. Um, I I kind of want to ask about. I remember you were talking about how you went disc golfing with Pat down. Yeah, it was, that? It was, it was good. It was a little cold, but um, <laughs> to say I, I might be a little bit biased. I'm I'm really good friends with Pat. Uh, of course, he goes to DSU, so uh, I, I might be a little biased, but um, <laughs> hanging out with Pat's always a fun time. I I believe we have everybody in here though, so we're gonna make sure. Both teams are ready, and then we'll get the show on the road here. You ready, Chalupa? It's going to be a well, fun one. I'm, I got a bag of beef jerky on me right now. <laughs> oh, that's great. I am locked and loaded. This is about to be a great series. 100%. Mm -mm -mm. I don't even know what flavor this is. My parents just gave me the bag, and they're like, here's some jerky. And I was like, I guess. I'll take it. Why not? Um, bag is massive and it'll last me a bit. It sure looks like it, man. That is a lot of beef jerky, man. I, I don't know if I could, could handle that much. A I bag of beef can. jerky is sus, but amazing. I agree with you there, Wurl. It might not be beef. Who knows? Hey, it's still jerky. Yeah. All right. Yeah, but what if it was like you? <laughs> oh, um, I got to change that. I forgot to switch it to... Not the orange winner screen. Oops. <laughs> um, yeah, well, here we go. We got game one, spaced out planetary trio. You start us off. All right, yeah. A um, little bit of a rough start over here from spaced out, but I don't know. It, it's always, like, rocky the first game, I feel. I don't know. It's, like... With especially with me, I think the first game is a little bit of uh, trying to get to know your like the other team a little bit because obviously this is the first time in the regular season every time that they face a team it's the first time they ever played against them so they're trying to see how they like play and trying to adapt from them yeah I don't know it, it's just a a trial game if you will yeah hundred percent I always like to call it kind of a feeler game you're kind of feeling out the other team, seeing what works and what doesn't you know, in a quick game one. So uh, it's always a little little uncomfortable. But Elf22 is going to slam this one home right away for Planetary Trio. No, we might we may need to be careful on the colorful uh, commentary because 
they're they're already scoring so who knows how many others uh goals they're gonna have but elf with the goal from the corner pass and games 1-0 with a minute down yeah we'll see what Plantary Shooter, they're gonna try to go for it again here. Elf tries to Woo! put that one in. It was an opportunity. Um, not quite able to find it. Juski's gonna just barely miss the ball. So Dr. Pepper's gonna send that one slamming right into the net. 2-0 lead. What did I tell you? I'm telling this team has been doing some stuff behind the scenes recently, and they're picking it up this next this last week. So they're up to oh, they're looking a lot more solid than the previous weeks. Yeah, 100%. I'm looking for spaced out to kind of start getting some offense going here. But Elf is just on this ball right away from the beginning. Sloan Eyes, the, the captain of this planetary church team, is going to try to take it above. What? And he will. It's 3 0. Sloan Eyes with the dagger. Oh my goodness. Just right over everyone. I thought he was going to double it for a little bit. Got bumped by Drewski. But he was able to get it right over, and it's. 3-0 right now it's it's looking a little bit more like they're feeling really comfortable right now they might have warmed up a, a decent bit and they're feeling good right now yeah uh, i mean planetary trio um i believe i got their logo messed up let me fix that real quick but they've been playing super great here right away from the beginning of this game um maybe they'll look to carry on into the rest of the game here a 3-0 lead early on. It's a lot of pressure. Spaced out just have not been able to handle it so far. Sloan Eyes is trying to get this one out of his half. Elf is going to clear it out. Paco's there. This one's going to go back mid. But Dr. Pep is there for the clear. Nobody's there for Spaced Out. And um, passing back and forth. Paco putting it over straight towards the backboard. But Dr. Pepper putting it forward. Maybe getting another touch. No, nobody is there from Planetary Trio. Spaced out. Going forward. Elf on the ball. Try to get past Drewski, but no, he's on it. Load eyes up, putting it straight over. Maybe getting a backboard read. No, Paco's there to save it. It's it, it's getting a little bit more tense now. Uh, Spaced out is getting a little bit more in the groove now. So they're playing a little bit better defense. So it's looking a little better for them. Yeah, for sure, but spaced out, they're going to need to get some offense going, too. Uh, holding your your opponent to few goals is not going to do anything for you. If you can't also score some, put some in the net here. Struski's going to get this around one, trying to catch the ball, takes it up the wall. Lone Isaac can't quite find a touch there. Bepper's there with a great touch out to keep it out of harm's way as Pat Down's going to try to clear this one over towards Plantar Shio's half. This one's gonna, it's a blue touch, but it goes backwards. It's not looking too great for Spaced Out right now. Yeah, uh, it's it's gonna be a rough start. They could pick it back up in the next few games, but Pat Down trying to get a pinch off, just a little under. Paco with the follow-up. Lone Iza putting it off of the backboard. Drewski trying to get a dunk off, but Elf on the ball. Lone Iza putting it straight above. Dr. Pepper maybe getting the shot, but Paco with the dagger. Yeah, Paco, they, they desperately needed one here. And they got one, it's a great angle. Up high in the air, drops it straight down into the middle of the net. Um, spaced out, they were starting to get pretty desperate there and they got one, but they still need two more here with 90 seconds to go. Yeah, they need just two more goals and it's definitely possible. But with the pressure that uh, Planetary Trio is putting out, it could be a little rough. But Dr. Pepper putting it straight down off of the waterfall and he reads it and he's going up 4-1 on the game. They're trying to end this one right now. Yeah, they are. Pat down just unfortunately sitting there in that not quite able to find a touch before Pepper gets there. Planetary Trio up 4-1. Um, so much pressure coming out from Planetary Trio so far in the series. Yeah, they're really wanting to put like they're trying to make a statement right now and saying, hey, we might be lower, we might have a lower record than you guys, but we're still able to play and it doesn't matter. We're gonna try to compete against you guys and beat you as hard as we can pretty much. Um, but with 50 seconds left, Paco trying to get a shot off, passing it over to Pat down, but Elf is there to save it. Lone Isa on the ball, cutting it over towards the left side. Oh, he was almost able to read it off the post. Drewski there to block him. Pat down in the corner. 
and putting it straight over towards Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper towards the middle. 30 seconds remaining. And that was almost straight into the goal. Oh, center blowing Isa with the save. Oh my goodness, it's so back and forth. Yeah, it really is. Isa with a bit of an unfortunate miss there. Spepper's just gonna clear it out. Time's ticking down. If you're spaced out, I say just GG, go next. Focus on game two. They've played really solid after the first minute or so. They just got down early and couldn't do anything to turn it around, really. Yeah, it was looking like they just were maybe a little too passive on this game. And Planetary Trio with the dub on this first game. The first game is always going to be huge in a series because that just sets a tone for, hey, we came here to play. Yeah, 100%. And, uh... You know, you start out game one with momentum, it might very well lead into game two. Um, and then, you know, you win game two, all of a sudden they have to reverse sweep, and that is a very difficult thing to do. Mm -hmm. uh, even in five games, reverse sweeping seven is virtually impossible. But uh, yeah, Elf 22, 484 points. Dr. Pepper, not far behind at 472. Uh, two of them paired up, and, and they went off. Yeah, I know. Look, yeah, looking at these stats, Dr. Pepper and Elf, even though they're third and second, man, they were putting in the work with Dr. Pepper with two goals. He's normally the guy back getting the saves uh, from what I saw last year, but he's over here putting in the work on offense and Paco trying to put up with one goal and two saves, um, but it just wasn't enough for space out. They need just a little bit more. Yeah, for sure. And one goal, it's super rough to try to win a game with just one goal. I mean, we saw it twice in the last series from Super Soakers. They just take a 1-0 lead and then try to hold that lead for as long as possible. Uh, and it worked out. Games 1 and 4 were 1-0 wins for Super Soakers. And they took the series um, in 4. But I don't know if that is exactly what you would want to do. Um, especially in Div D Ooh. where mechanical mistakes are a lot more prone to happen. Yeah, no, that was almost um, a great read by Isa. He almost got the double. Um, but they need to get some more aggressive plays and it looks like they're about to do it right here with Paco trying to center it. Um, but it's just shut down in the corner. Um, corners, I always talk, I talk about these usually. Corners, so safe. You, you want them in the corner because how are they going to shoot it? Yeah, for real. They got to take it around. And by that point, you already have somebody there to defend it. Ooh. It's always a safe spot to hit it. It's a great pass from Dr. Pepper over towards Lone Isa. The shot is saved by Spaced Out. Is this Ooh. one might roll into the net. Ooh. It does. Uh, I mean, I guess I didn't really expect that to be a goal, but he just popped it just over Pat. And Drewski almost getting the save, but just narrowly misses. And like the first game, it's 1-0 in Planetary Trio's um, advantage. And they're looking like they're not trying to stop this momentum. They want to keep going. Oh, yeah. If you're Planetary Trio, I wouldn't want to stop the momentum either. As that shot from, I believe, Paco is going to go crossbar out. That's another crossbar. You hate to see it for Paco. Um... If you're spaced out, all you can do is laugh that one off, but um, definitely hurts a little bit to hit the crossbar. And Lone Isa with a monster flick straight into the net. Oh my goodness, what, look at the finesse. The style. Flicks it straight over everyone to the top of the goal. And they're up 2-0. This is looking like, it's just their series right now. They're looking so good right now. Yeah, this is not the way I expected the series to go either. Um, we just haven't seen much of any pressure from Spaced Out. Uh, and, I mean, we, we've seen Planetary Trio just have so much pressure again and again and again. And it's been, it's been so huge for them so far. Early on, as Dr. Pepper's going to try to put a third one on net, Pat Down's there to hit it away. Hits it straight to Isa, Isa though. And this one's just going to stay floating for a while. Eyes are trying to put a shot on net. It's a little wide. I know. I'm trying to get those mechanical plays in. Uh, maybe they can get another clip in, maybe? We'll see. They're trying to pass it down mid. Paco, there to block it. Pat down. 
with the cucks here, but just barely misses. Try to put it over, maybe. But blocked by Dr. Bepper. Lone Isa on the ball. Put it over straight to Paco. Paco in the corner. Trying to get a shot. The angle. No, Elf is there to stop it. Their defense is locked down right now. Hat down. Putting it over Dr. Bepper. Maybe getting a shot into the top bins. And pat down with the read off of the post. Yeah, he took it up the wall, brought it straight back down, hit it over Lone Eyes, um, put this one in. Uh, spaced out, you know, they get their first goal here halfway through the game. Uh, it's looking a little bit better for them, you know, being able to score here, but they still got a long ways to go to potentially win this game too to keep themselves out of a reverse sweep. Yeah, I know. Um, Elf right there trying to get a, a dribble play going on, but they were just getting stopped. Uh, spaced out let's see let's see it we need we need to we need a little bit more we know you're above them and i i know you're better i know you guys are better um if you guys see this at all but with two minutes left um it's still it's closer than the first game so spaced out still has a pretty good chance as paco dribbled it over to the corner dr pepper actually hitting it center but paco uh Dr. Pepper able to clear it out. Dr. Pepper maybe getting a dribble play off. Pat Down's there to stop it. Oh, wait. No, he couldn't get the, the pinch off. Yeah, that's all right, because Drewski's there to save the day. Yeah, Elf's going to boom this one out. Paco's going to control it a bit here. Tries to get it under Lone Eyes. So this one's going to be boomed out towards Paco. Is Dr. Pepper's going to try to hit this one away. It's Ooh. on net. Elf's there, but Pat's going to smack that one top bins. And we have a tie game here. Right there, pressure, pressure, pressure is huge, especially in the lower divisions. If you put enough shots into the goal, it'll eventually go in, especially when people make mistakes. Uh, but tie game and spaced out could try to put it to uh, make it the series go back and forth here. 100%, if you're spaced out, you're, you're looking for uh you're looking for this one to be uh like you need it for a win um that was uh words <laughs> dude i was trying to multitask and that that did not go so well uh gotta hey, hope right, neither but... of these teams are multitasking because <laughs> <laughs> we saw how much trouble was there for me but lone eyes is gonna try and get this one over to spaced out net not quite able to as this one looked very close Ooh. to going in, and it's gonna just skip out and spaced out there, getting by on the skin of their teeth right now. The angle is almost there. Drewski off to the corner, trying to get around Dr. Pepper. Dr. Pepper maybe putting it on to the goal, but Pat down and Paco there to save the day. Paco on the ball, but Lone Isa is there to counter it. Pat down, trying to put it off. Dr. Pepper there to stop the play. Putting it around towards the center. Drewski there to pop it, maybe? Paco over towards the wall. Reading it towards the corner. Maybe center. But Lone Eyes is there to put it on the right wall. Zero seconds. And the demo ends it. And there, the, the match going to overtime. Oh, my goodness. I'm I'm killing right now. Yeah, spaced out. They've rebounded for sure off of their last game. Bit of an unfortunate miss from Drewski. But Pat's going to try to send this one out mid. Paco looks like he got bumped a little bit. He's going to send that one over to the side, but Elf's going to clear it away. Drewski with a pretty good 50. We'll see what Pat can do if he's going to go. He won't. Nobody's going for spaced Ooh. out, and that looked to be a very threatening situation. Yeah, no. Um, the shots are going straight over towards spaced out's goal. Maybe they can put it out. Drewski on the ball. Dr. Bepper maybe trying to get the read. And he sinks it. And there's game two right there. Oh my goodness. Dr. Pepper with the read on the aerial. Paco just a little short from the ball to save it. And Planetary Trio puts this series 2-0. Trying to put the nail in the coffin next game. Yeah, it's a great game from Planetary Trio. Of course, it went to OT. Pat down, 638 points, <laughs> two goals, four saves. Oh my goodness. Um, so close, but yet so far. And unfortunately here, all of Pat Down's efforts um, are for naught, it appears. 
Um, all of a sudden, you know, spaced out, they need a, a reverse sweep, which is always super difficult. We saw the start of a reverse sweep last time, um, but it, it didn't happen. I don't know. There's been a decent amount of reverse sweeps in DCRL this season, comparatively to others, which is insane to me. But obviously, it's still a hard task to do. So, uh, spaced out. Obviously, you were talking about it. Pat Down was trying to put the team on his back, and they just couldn't finish it off. And let, let's let's see if spaced out will be able to make it to game five, or if it's going to be a little short for them. Yeah. Um, okay. Everybody's in, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I could not see from where <laughs> from where the camera was at. <laughs> That's how this game be sometimes. You can't see anything. And then you're double committing. It's rough. Ah, uh, for real. We'll see what happens here. Start this one off. Juicy's gonna try to get it clear. Can't quite find it. Pat, mm. last man's gonna pop it up. I like that pop. Juicy's gonna get a 50. This one's gonna go straight towards the net. Pot goes up. Woo! What a shot, Ooh! but it's a little high. Oh my goodness. That was just a little unfortunate. Oh, that would have been so huge for them. Paco with the crossbar again. The crossbar is his enemy this series. It's just just a little too high. So unfortunate for Paco. Hopefully he can get one straight down into the goal. But a minute down, it's they're putting a lot more pressure than they have been the last series. So they must have been talking. Yeah, 100%. And Drewski's going to turn to keep the pressure. Mm. It's towards net. Lone Isla with a bit of a... Um, I, I'm trying to find a word. It was. It looked a bit dangerous, <laughs> to, to say the least. Mm. Um, mm. I didn't quite think he was going to hit it, but he proved me wrong here. Uh, he's been kind of everywhere so far for his planetary trio team, I feel. No! Oh, oh, oh again. Sorry, I was... I just throw throw words everywhere. Sorry oh, about you're, that. you're good, man. Uh, I love the the hype coming out from you every time. Um, there's been so many opportunities that have been so close that are just off the crossbar, off the post. And you hate to see it. Ooh, what a demo from Drewski. Uh, three minutes to go, and it's still tied 0-0. Zero, zero. Elf trying to put it in. Dr. Bepper reading it. Maybe getting the double. Just put it straight towards the middle and lone eyes are there to finish it off. What a tapping. Yeah, it's whoa, what in the world? I did not see like that little bit of a 50 there with Pat and uh Dr. Bepper. That's that was, crazy. That was so good right there. A little little double from Dr. Bepper to put it straight down, and they're ahead on Match point or series point? I, what would it be? Match point, I guess. Oh uh, yeah, I think so. You could call it series point though. Um, if they are up 2-0 here, uh, Paco's gonna try to turn this one around. It goes straight towards the planetary trio's half. This is popped up, but nobody's there for space styles. Pat's gonna try to take a bit of a panic touch to keep it in, uh, keep it out of danger here. Paco with the 50. Drewski's gonna push. Her. Um. Curious to see what happens here. Pat gets a beat. And this one's gonna. Paco's gonna 50 it. I, I am struggling to read what's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good, man. You got this. No. Paco cleared it over towards in? the goal. No. Yeah, maybe. No, Pat down trying to read it, but just a little bit to the right. Oh, no. An unfortunate miss oh, from Oh, that's just. That's just a little unfortunate. Paco put it over straight towards the left side. Paco with the solo play, maybe. Straight over. Maybe he can bump. It's straight down towards the middle. Drewski finish it. And it's 1-1 tight series. The game is still good. Let's keep it going. Yeah, if you're spaced out, you need that goal. Um, no ifs, ands, or buts. You, you have to get that one to go in and give yourselves a chance. So that's what they do here. It's a tie game, but um, they, I think they have to have another goal or two to feel any sort of security. And that's oh, going to go in. What in the world? What an unfortunate ogle from Elf. Pat down 
pinching it over and Elf just a little bit of unfortunate positioning and spaced out has a chance to be able to pull off a reverse sweep here being up 2-1 with two minutes remaining. Yeah, space out will definitely take that here. Pat's gonna try to control it a bit. Pops it up here and Dr. Pepper's there to read it. Zero boost, we'll see what he does. He goes for the other team's corner. I think he got it. Um, Drewski's gonna tap that one in. I think I saw everybody from spaced out jump. <laughs> and that is not, not exactly ideal if that is indeed what I saw. Pat down versus Lone Isa here. Pat's gonna clear it out. He's gonna try to get another, gets a little bit of a touch, tries to follow it up for a bit of a pinch. Not quite able to find it. That one's sent straight towards the net. Drewski with a great 50 to keep that one out. You know, this is spaced out game right now. Putting it over with one minute remaining pat down in the corner. Pepper clearing it out from the backboard, but Paco's there to control. Nice controlled touch, but Dr. Pepper trying to get a 50 off. Dr. Pepper on the backboard, maybe trying to get a read off. Drewski trying to hit it out, and Paco there to save it. Elf hits it towards the middle. Dr. Pepper almost reading it, but just a little bit off. And 30 seconds to go. It's spaced out's game, and that's a wide open net for Paco. Yeah, uh, if you're spaced out, you're definitely gonna be happy about that one. Just wide open. I don't know what happened to all the planetary trio, but nobody was home. And spaced out will take a two goal lead. Unfortunate right now, but with 30 seconds left to go, it, it could still be anyone's game. Paco hitting over towards the middle. Aiza with the block. Dr. Pepper, unfortunate miss. Elf hitting it straight over towards the goal. But Paco is there to stop it. 15 seconds remaining. And it's looking like Spaced Out's gonna put the dagger. Elf trying to block it. Dr. Pepper hitting it for the 50. No, Paco hitting it towards the corner. Trying to read it a little bit short. And see if they can get another goal going. Drewski almost with the touch and Spaced Out. With 3-1 in this game, we're able to pull it off. And the series is now 2-1, and the reverse sweep is alive. Yeah, if you're spaced out, you needed this game. Um, all three of them scored. Uh, Paco had an assist, 400 points. Um, I, I The only interesting uh, stat that I see here is pat down shooting percentage. Uh, give you a division by zero error if you were doing it in Excel. That's right. <laughs> One goal, zero shot, infinite shooting percentage. <laughs> uh, can, we, can we change that in the stats? Give him an infinite, infinite shooting percentage? Infinite shooting percentage. <laughs> um, he just does that one goal, and then it just he just never plays again. Yeah, regardless, though, spaced out. They bounced back. They definitely needed to, but now we got to see if they can do it for two more games. Um, odds are still against them. And, um, but the momentum is in their favor right now since they just won. Um, but and so I'm still favoring Planetary Trio. Sorry, beef jerky is in my mouth right now. You're so, good. But what, right at the start of this game, you know, Elf is trying to put it over. Lone Isa maybe getting a read off of the goal, but Paco is there to save it. Paco has been looking a little better because that game too, it was looking a little rough for him. But game three, he really picked it up. So they obviously said something. And maybe they can get a shot off, but it's just no good. Yeah, Paco, wide open. Oh, I don't know why I said wide open net. There was literally a defender <laughs> there. Oh. Come on, K-Tool. I'm not K-Tool. What are you talking about? <laughs> I know, but Caster Chris. I guess. Um, <laughs> uh, we'll see. L here, he's going to try to put this one back on the net. Pat with an unfortunate miss. Paco's just going to hit it around. Lone Eyes is just going to boom it away. Try to go for a follow-up touch here. Um, doesn't quite have the boost to do so. This one's past Elf. Pat's there. He's going to hit it around. But Elf is there to hit it back. We'll see Drewski here try to put one on net. And it's just a little bit wide left. I know that was a little bit scary. Yeah, that was centered straight over towards. And it was a good shot. Just a little bit wide. Um, and then it passed. And... It's a pretty, like, a lot of these games are, like, 0-0, zero, zero, and then they just get a goal sometimes. Um, but straight over towards the middle, Paco there to read it. Speaking and of the goal, able... you might be K-Tool. 
Okay, yeah, I might be kidding. Actually, <laughs> it happened. It happened twice yesterday. It was a little unfortunate, but Kaku scored. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to cut you off, but yeah, it's a great goal here for spaced out opposite K tool, maybe. Um, <laughs> we'll see. Lone Eyes who just gets a bit of an awkward touch. Pat's gonna try to send it out mid. There's a bump Ooh. there. Paco, very smart decision to not commit. Um, I, I really want to highlight that. When you're right there and the ball is just so close to going into net, it can be so tempting to just throw your car at it and hope it goes in. But um, it was a great job by Paco to have the resilience to to not go. I, w I was trying to find an analogy of Paco like being tempted and then being like going out, but I couldn't find one. The only one was a little bit too risque for stream, so. <laughs> um, <laughs> But <laughs> two minutes passed and Space Down is still ahead in this game. Let's see if they can hold this lead. Yeah, we got half the game left here. Pat's going to send this one out mid. 50 with Dr. Bepper. Mm -hmm. Drewski's there. He tries to get a touch out. This is going to go up in the corner. Paco's going to commit. Not quite able to hit it. Pat will be last here. Gets beat to it. And Drewski with no boost. This looks to be very, very threatening. Okay, he had some boost. I lied. But... <laughs> um, Pat's going to clear this one out. Elf, Ooh, elf with oh an no. unfortunate miss. Paco is going to send that one wide left. Oh, no. That was just a little bit unfortunate for Paco. He had a decent shot there. Pat down almost, but gets demoed. And he got saved. Drewski almost putting it on net. They are looking super aggressive. Paco trying to get it off the backboard, but Dr. Bepper there to save it. Pat Down was almost there, but Dr. Bepper controlling it, trying to dribble it around everyone. Pat Down there to get a soft touch around him, but Elf, I was straight over to Pat Down. Pat Down to Paco, maybe? Oh, wait, what a shot! And what a save from Pat Down. This is going back and forth. I, let's, I don't know. This is, this is still anyone's game. Oh, 100%. I mean, all these games have been pretty close. That's a good shot. It's a little high. Is anyone there to follow up from Planetary Trio? Not quite. It's Dr. Bepper, last man there. He's gonna clear it out. Ooh. He's gonna score it. Let's go, Beeper. Sorry, I, ha I had to bring it back because that's the way he said it land last semester. So I, I had to bring that back. So, but I thought it was just a little, little nice side comment. But tie game right now. Uh, spaced out planetary trio and planetary trio trying to come back and finish this off in four games let's see if they can yeah it's a bit of an unfortunate 50 for spaced out but pat was there to clear it out right away um yeah lone isa is gonna hit it with almost all of his teammates look like for a second they were all <laughs> congregating right there trying to hit the ball and this one's gonna go over paco and go over pat Unfortunate miss from Drewski. Is anybody there from Planetary True to convert? Not quite. Drewski's going to give this one to Pat, who's going to try to 50 it out. It's not quite able to find a touch on the ball. Paco's going to control it. Gets a great flick over one, but it's not going to fool Lone Isa. We got 30 seconds left. Yeah, Drewski's now on this ball. Trying to put it over. Put it in a round L. But Dr. Bepper's there. Maybe getting the shot off, but Paco's there to stop it. Maybe got a flip your set off of it. Elf. Putting a center shot. Drewski's there to stop it and going over towards the left side. Oh, and Isaac putting his center. Pat down, clearing it straight out towards the corner. Dr. Pepper might be able to get a, get a soft touch onto this. Elf putting it out. And Paco maybe putting it the dagger. But no, it's overtime again. This is the second overtime now. Yeah, we saw it in game two. It didn't quite work out for spaced out the way they wanted to. We'll see if it happens that way again as that looked very dangerous. But Paco was able to take it to the corner. A nice little safe spot. Gets it around one. And Bepper, this one looks to be a little high. Yeah, this is oh, man, very close. And Pat down with a great clear. As Paco gets a great demo here, it looks like Bepper was the only one left in net. And he's just going to make a very quick turn. Been loving these quick turns that Bepper's been making, kind of catching everybody off guard. Mm -hmm. Bepper was a little bit awkward there, but he was able to finish it out on defense. As that's Paco go in. getting the 50 off of Elf straight into the goal, and we have a game five. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a series. This is what I'm talking about.
Yes, sir. We always love to see a game five, and that's exactly what we're going to get here. I was just hoping we didn't have a long intermission, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> uh, and it's always good to see game five. You love to see the content spaced out. Paco, both goals, but Pat Down and Drewski both have an assist to their name as well. We see 10 shots from spaced out to Planetary Trio's five. Um, the only th other thing that kind of comes to mind here when I'm looking at it is just how many saves Planetary Trio had to make. Mm. Just the pressure from spaced out seemed to be a little too much at times. Yeah, another thing is that spaced out had double Planetary Trio's shots. And then obviously they had double goals that's just because it was 2-1. Yeah. But they had double the amount of shots. And like I said before, putting in pressure, eventually they will crack. And crack they did as Space Style was able to take advantage of them being a little bit awkward. For real. <laughs> Pat, why are you sending a message in Snapchat in the middle of the series? <laughs> Pat's just like that, bro. And then why am I looking at it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know that's your that's your fault. That's a hundred percent your fault. That's what you, that's what you get. Yeah, we'll see if Planetary Trio can start out hot. They haven't really had a hot start since that game one. I, if I'm remembering correctly, maybe game two. Struzzi's gonna try to fifty this one with Doctor Pepper. It's just gonna go out mid. It looked like both of them missed for a second, but that is not what happened. And Ooh. all Planetary Trio players are right there. Um, could be a bit of an overcommit opportunity, but Dr. Pepper will get back right away to prevent anything bad from happening. You know, going back to that comment about them getting a goal, a quick goal off. It happened in games one and two, the games that they won. So, whichever team gets this first goal, um, the, the correlation... Whichever team gets the first goal will more than likely be able to win the game. Um, and with that, the series also. I mean, it makes sense with how low scoring some of these games have been, but... Uh, I, Planetary Trio has had so much pressure so far on Spaced Out. If you're Spaced Out, you have to keep Ooh. the ball out of your half. Ooh. And what a Ooh. save from Drewski to keep that one out of the net. There's my former teammate right there, putting in the work on defense. Lone Isa had a really good shot, but Drewski was just there with the bump play. I, I I didn't even see it properly, but I think Elf was able to bump whoever was in goal with Isa having a shot. Look at that. Oh my god. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, yeah, the bump there was huge. Planetary Trio, they get the first goal here. We'll see what that means in terms of the game count. Um, whether or not they win the series, but Pat trying to get this one to go somewhere favorable. And Paco's going to shoot that on net, bottom left. Um, Bepper plays a shot just like that earlier in the series. Paco wants it too. Paco practicing the air roll shots with perfect placement on the left side of the goal. Any more right, and it would have just been blocked. Um, but series tied one to one. Uh, this is this is good content right here, folks. Yeah, it really is. And Bepper with what looked to be a great shot on net, but it was an even better save from Paco. This elf's gonna hit this one straight up to the sky. And Pat's up pretty early, hits this one to the corner where Bepper is waiting. And Paco's gonna 50 it. He's gonna go for another touch, gets it out mid. Drewski's waiting, he gets a touch, looking for a second, and he does find a second. Just one step boost, which he does get. And Planetary Trio are gonna try to transition to offense here. How many how many Div D people know how to directional air roll? I don't even know how to directional air roll. I'm always free arrow. But anyways, a little side topic. But Dr. Pepper, maybe putting it with the dagger Paco almost don't go in. That was the the crossbar has been his enemy, I guess his friend this time. Um uh, it was just right there. Yeah, it was a little too close for comfort. I, I, oh, my reaction for that was crazy too, man. I wouldn't play it like that, but <laughs> works out for spaced out. Uh, that was that was just a little bit scary. I just saw him going towards his goal, um, and that was just I don't know, just maybe 
I don't know, quiver. I don't know how to say it, but what a save from Pat down with a crazy save from the goal line as he might be able to get a counter attack. But Paco on the ball, putting it around Dr. Bepper. See if they can get a 50 off, but Elf is there. He's bigger. Lone eyes up, demoing Drewski, putting it straight over towards the middle. Pat down, maybe putting it down towards Paco, but Dr. Pepper's there to counter it with Paco there to top left corner. What a save from Elf or Lone Eyes. I don't know. Uh, it's my notifications are and off. And he places that in. Oh Paco. my goodness. What a beast. Oh my, dude. This is some crazy gameplay coming out from both teams. I forget just how good Div D is at times. Uh, the precision from all these players is insane. That was pa Paco. Is, I, I think he's been in Coco's uh, aim trading. I believe it with his precision so far in the series. And that's going to find its way into the net. Uh, one goal right into the next. Like I said, Lone Eyes has been hitting the Coco aim training. What a beast. Right down to the right. Oh my goodness. And it's a tie game right now with a minute and a half left. Yeah, it's, these two teams are so close. I mean, their records wouldn't show it. 4-3, 2-5, but both teams have been playing so well. Um, this mm. is all you can really hope for from a matchup between two Div D teams. Um, Pat's going to find Elf in a 1v1, hits it around him. Oh. Nobody's there from Space Town to follow up, though. Paco's going to hit this one mid. Dr. Bepper's there for a great touch out. Juicy's going to try to hit it to the corner. Gets a little bit of a touch. Bepper's going to maybe miss it a little bit here. Juicy's going to try to bring it around Elf who's not tricked as Pat's gonna control the ball. This is gonna go to Lone Eyes out to Paco. We'll see what he does here. Paco, straight off the backboard. Maybe getting it over to Pat down, but 50 off from Elf, getting demoed. Paco getting demoed over to Lone Eyes. Maybe getting an aerial play. Pat, oh, I thought Pat down was gonna clear it, but Paco with the soft touch towards his quarter. Getting the even softer touch, putting it straight over Dr. Bepper. Going over towards Elf. Elf accidentally pushing it towards Paco. Drewski put a little bit over on the backboard, but Dr. Pepper is able to clear it. 18 seconds left. Oh, this is looking a little bit rough for Planetary Trio as it's going down on the left side. Paco, maybe Elf 22, putting it straight over, maybe putting a dagger in. Just a little bit over the goal. And zero seconds off of the corner. Pat down, maybe able to keep it up, but Paco puts it straight down into a third overtime. Yeah, game five overtime reverse sweep pending for spaced out. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this. Um, all the marbles are on this one here. So Pat's gonna try to hit it out. We'll see what Drewski can do. He's gonna get a touch. He's gonna try to follow it up. Not quite able to find it. Pat's Ooh. also up. That's not great. It's Paco, a bit of a, uh, an aggressive challenge there. Does find a touch here. It's Lone Eyes, a very low, fakes oh! it over one, gets it over the oh! other, and Paco's there for a great save. I, I, I thought that was going in. That was that was a crazy fake, actually. Um, but Elf put it over towards Pat down. Lone Eyes, able to get a touch over towards um, their own half. Dr. Pepper putting it straight over towards the backboard, but Pac, uh, Pat down is just there. Pat down is being really speedy right now. Paco on the ball. Lone Isa trying to pass it over towards Dr. Pepper. Bajewski's there to counter it. But Dr. Pepper's there. Paco with the counter attack. Maybe getting a double off the corner. No, Elf is right there. Pat down. Putting it middle maybe, but Dr. Pepper's just there to intercept it. Putting it back over towards Planetary Trio side. Pat down with the demo. A tie. Oh, just a little bit. Paco. Over Paco. Paco can't find it. Drewski's there. Gets a 50. Pat's all by himself. Low boost. And that's going to oh. go in for Planetary Trio. Oh, the reverse sweep was just there. Oh, my goodness. And just like that, with Elf 22's dagger of a goal, we have Planetary Trio winning the series 3 to two what a match that's crazy um this is not the way i expected the series to go <laughs> planetary trio taking it in five here it's a great game from both teams 
Planetary Shield, they just had so much more pressure than spaced out. 15 shots, three goals. Lone Isa with two of them. It's a crazy, crazy game. Man, that was... I was honestly so back and forth. I was... I was a little bit expecting the reverse sweep to happen just for the momentum wise, but obviously they were talking um, throughout and was like, "Hey guys, we need to we need to step it up here this last game. This is game five, and we don't want to be in the bottom of the division. So we gotta we gotta make this count and finish it off." Yeah, a hundred percent. They take it in five. We're just waiting on these guys to jump into the waiting room here. It's such a such a high octane series from both teams. Mm -hmm. I, I'm out of energy if I'm being honest here. I don't know about you. I was, I was shivering my timbers the entire time. Congrats on the win, guys. Thank um, you. Thank you. I, I gotta do something first. Uh, so. These guys had a, a sub goal, 10 goals, and I'd take my shirt off. So um, I'm a man of my word. Did it happen? So, yeah, it did. I'm I got you, word. Omega. I'm a man of my word. Hold up. <laughs> I'm a man of my word. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's go. <laughs> oh, man. This series was so, so high energy. Um, you guys went up in games one and two. And then you gave up games three and four. How are you guys feeling going into game five? Well, it, I just it, was, that was it was nerve wracking as all hell. <laughs> I, I would believe it, man. It was nerve wracking casting it too. I'm not going to lie. Oh man. I, I'm still trying to recover from, from this series. <laughs> you guys all played amazing. Thank you. Do you have any questions for these guys, Tulupa? Um, I have one for Dr. Pepper. So, okay. So, which, uh, this is not necessarily from the series, but a little bit more towards LAN. Um, obviously, like, there was, like, the Let's Go Beeper, and I referenced it in the VOD. Um, was there any story with that, or was it just all of a sudden during LAN? It was just all of a sudden during LAN. I didn't <laughs> even know what happened until people were telling me about it. <laughs> all right that that's what i got for Bepper. i might be able to come up with one if <laughs> no I, I got i got one um so right. isa captain here you have a lot of experience in dcrl is there anything you were telling these guys um going into game five trying to get some more momentum back uh my main thing was i just was like we did lose we did we did just lose two games don't let the mental affect you and win or lose we still had a good time yeah fair enough um, it was great to watch you guys. Um, I believe this is your second time on stream, so welcome to the stream. Um, I want to wish you guys good luck in playoffs here. As wait, you, wait, wait, wait. what are you doing? I, I do. I do have a question for Elf. All right. During during that last goal, right before you were about to shoot it, was there any nerves, or were you like stone cold? I'm shooting it. I'm making this. Oh, yeah, I was locked in. Like, there's no way I'm letting this slip again. <laughs> I had some open shots earlier that I missed, and, like, it's redemption time. That's right. That's what I like to hear. Ice in the veins. All right, Omega, you can end the song. Yeah, floor. I was going to say, that's all I got. It was a great series from you guys. Looking forward to seeing how you guys show up in the playoffs here. Um, you guys have a really strong end to your season here with a, a great win over Spaced Out. So I want to wish you guys the rest of the luck here. Or the rest of the luck. Yeah, that doesn't make sense. Wish you guys luck with your <laughs> with your playoff run. Um, yeah, that's all I got. It was a great win. Thank you. Thank you. All right. With that being said, we're going to jump back to the caster screen. This is going to look, look, look super silly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love how I love you joined in on it too, Jalupa. You weren't even part I had of this. to. I had to. Um, I heard it. I say, had to. For reference, that. it is currently, where's my camera? 77.2 in my room. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a little hot in here, but... um. Yeah, so that's that's all we got for game two. Planetary Trio spaced out. Planetary Trio Ooh. will take it in five. Coming up next, we got Storm Watchers and Cargo Space and Div B. Are you looking forward to that one, Chalupa? 
Uh, maybe. Maybe. We'll see. I will. We'll see if I watch. More than likely, yes. But I, I'm. I don't know. I'm just excited to see playoffs. Honestly. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Um, but that's all I got here. We're gonna start to a quick intermission. Um, before we get the next series on the road here. Um, yeah. So peace out, guys. We'll see you in ten. <laughs>